Well, it looks like it. Well, you can take it from me. It is. Okay. It's been fired. Yes. Six devastators. Is that so? How many of them found their mark? Four. Four? Well, that's not bad shooting, huh? Mrs. Reagan, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, dear. Is he in surgery now? For four hours. How is the president? He's out of surgery. bulk of the bullet out. So part of the bullet is still there? Yes, I'm sorry it is. The rest is embedded in the bottom of his brain. What does that mean? It would do more harm than good to try to get it out now. The floor of his brain cavity uh, underneath the brain has been badly damaged. So the operation wasn't successful. He's alive. And he may not be able to recognize you. When he comes to? A little longer than that. For always? Perhaps. I'd like to see the bullet. I'll need this for evidence, of course. It's done all the harm it was made to do. Pardon me? I had a girlfriend whose boyfriend bought her a pistol. They showed it to me two months before I killed her with it. Mr. Brady? Dr. Cabrini. Jim? Jim? 
Hold on. Let me try. Mr. Brady, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please wriggle your fingers like this. Can you hear me? So they say. Good, sir. Better say two weeks. No, a week. What about Brady? The floor of the skull underneath his brain has been shattered. the best press secretary I ever had. We always have cocktail parties on Fridays. I see. <laughs> Did he just make a crack at me? I think so. Did you? <sighs> he always likes me to scratch his feet. Brady, what's this? What is that, Bear? Gauze? Ball? Butterfingers. Uh, uh. I'm ready. 
here. What? Afraid. Man tried to shoot the president. The president's all right, but you were hit. Jim, you're, Jim, you're doing well. The doctor is amazed at how well. Yes. Die. No, Jim, you're not going to die. Jim, you're not going to die. Having a seizure. Can I see him? No, Sarah. Uh, will he be worse? I don't know. Uh... Why don't we give it a couple of days? Hmm? Look, Sarah. The other chunk of the bullet. Can I have it? Sure. W. Hinckley Jr. appeared in court today, formally charged with a 13-count indictment, including the assassination attempt against President Ronald Reagan. Hinckley is pleading not guilty to the charges. Hinckley's reported motive is his obsession with the actress Jodie Foster. He saw her many dozens of times in the movie Taxi Driver. And when Foster enrolled at Yale University in 1980, Hinckley traveled to New Haven, Connecticut. He dropped poems and other notes at her doorstep, but Foster refused to meet him. It was then, according to his own testimony, he never, Jim, he even got a date with her. John W. enthusiastically supported Ronald Reagan. Hello, Mr. President. Oh, hi there. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Oh, good to see you again, Doctor. How are you doing, sir? Oh, I've been fine, thanks. Mrs. Doctor, Reagan. Doctor, thank you. Hiya, Jim. Sarah. Good morning, Mr. President. Morning, Doctor. 